Miami Vice. Miami Vice. No, no, I'm doing it's an Axel F. Who sang that? Miami. I don't think it was sung, it was instrumental. Yeah. Yeah, but it was some Miami Sound Machine? <laughs> the rhythm's gonna get ya. Rhythm's <laughs> gonna, gonna get, get ya. ya. Something wearing teal in the yeah. apes on here in the. <laughs> hey, ladies, welcome back to Unsolicited Moms. And today, Julie and I are gonna talk about parenting then and now. I have some fond memories of being a child. <laughs> right. I'm surprised I have any memories of being a child given what my parents used to do, like. <laughs> Driving in the car with the windows up like a hot pot with everyone smoking raw from cigarettes. <laughs> Probably driving drunk a few times after a party in oh, some yeah. about 50. Yeah. When I was born, uh, I don't even think seatbelts were a thing. No, they weren't. They didn't yeah, have to be a thing. I actually don't know because I asked my mom, like, you know, we you strap in your toddlers and your babies and it keeps them in one place. Like, we must have just been all over the place. In the back seat, right? Totally. Like, while they're driving drunk. You're Mom's like, like Mom said she'd put us in like a little basket. And just put us in the back seat. In Pray a for the best. Pray for the best. But Little you know what? One. I also don't think they drove around a whole lot. It's different now. Well, yeah. Like my mom said, like when they, when she, we were all babies, you know, she would get her lawn chair put out front. All the moms would get their lawn chairs put out front. The kids would run the streets. They wouldn't, not everybody had cars. Like right. every family had True. one car, maybe. But nowadays, like it's so funny because like my parents, those same people mm. are grandparents. Oh my God. Like they're all over me to be all over Maddie. Like, oh, yeah, they grandparents are very different. Oh yeah. yeah. They're like, what, what, what if she ate a speck of dirt? And like, I ate my Do you pies. remember you fed? Fed me dirt for dinner. It yeah. was a, well. They say your grandchildren are your reward for not killing your own. I sort of they're feel like they're your second chance. And right. like, sorry, get your own second chance. You know what is kid. funny? I remember an auntie saying that when she had one of her babies, they're in the hospital, four women in the hospital, and it was time to breastfeed. So the nurse came in, and they all got this like rubbing alcohol and cleaned their nipples, whatever. They all put their babies on the for them, and then they all. Lit up. Oh my god. <laughs> and then a nice ciggy while well, baby and she's like, yeah, it's so ridiculous we think about it. Here we are like cleaning up our nipples. Yeah. And then lighting so we up can, once like, the baby's last Get them with some secondhand smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we don't have money for Harvard. If you are the poor SOB mm -hmm. who leaves a sleeping baby in the back of your car with the windows open and run to grab your coffee, you are gonna be socially shamed. Well, okay, I can almost see it with that because, yeah. look, babies shouldn't be in cars unattended. True, true enough. But I'm now, just saying, we were. I know, we were. <laughs> but that might explain a few things. <laughs> I have, like, an 8 and 10-year-old, and all want to run into the shop and be like, guys, you have to come with me. And they're like, Mom, don't. We just we just want to, we're sitting Why here, we're sleeping. We're, and I was like, you got to come with me. Otherwise, somebody walk by, say I'm negligent, call the police, You'll get rescued from me, and you'll never live with me again. How do you boys like oh, that? Oh, and you'll have a better life in an orphanage. Yeah. Wait a minute, but like they're eight and ten. That's ridiculous. I know. I get still. it with babies. I get it with yeah. toddlers and yeah. puppies and dogs and animals yeah. and little people. I do not get it with eight and ten year olds. No, it's it's true. I would not leave my eight and ten year old in the car, not because they couldn't handle it, because somebody will come by, take a picture, put it on social media, and be like, "Oh, look at this mommy blogger with six kids. Exactly. She left her kids alone in the." It's that shaming stuff. If someone is in peril, of mm. course, right? Like, it's a hot day, you see an animal in a car. But, like, when do we and don't we report stuff? Like, you know, like, it, it's such a... It's funny that when a situation is really critical, like, say that your little buddy, your little kid's got a buddy who you highly suspect might not be treated well at home, might might be in trouble at home. Okay, that's a What do you do? One. You don't you don't report it, you 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 think about it, you overthink, you consult people. Would you talk to the parents? Would you share your concerns? Mm, I don't know. I don't yeah. know what I would do. But I'm saying yeah. I would have to put a lot of thought into that. Yeah. I wouldn't take a snap, put it on social and shame no. them. I am actually shocked sometimes with the lack of common sense because I'll see somebody will put on a Facebook group and say, My neighbor did this and they complain about their neighbor, I'm like and people will be saying what they should do and I'm like, Have you tried talking to them? Yeah. They don't. No. It's like, oh, well, I haven't tried that yet. I'm like, how about before you <laughs> post on a mom's group with 3,000 people? Yeah. How about you just, you know, I've often found talking to somebody quite effective and say, hey, you know, I've got a little problem here. Can we talk about it? Yeah. It's worked quite well for me throughout my 40 whatever years. 
For just 40. Yeah. <laughs> I mean 40, uh, whatever it is. <laughs> you hide behind that camera. Yeah. And you can say whatever you want and shame whoever you very want. Very brave. Very brave but back there. A face-to-face conversation is People really difficult yeah. to have because it, then it's personal yeah. and then you have eye contact, right? Yeah. So I do find that, you know, that's pretty tricky. Yeah. So, like, I hate reading that stuff online because whether that parent is right or wrong in what they're doing, all I can think of is... The person who posted that should be ashamed of themselves. Right. If you are so concerned about that infant, call the police. Yeah. Wait for the wait parent for the to car. get to the car. Yeah. Do something about it. Yeah. Don't just get on your high horse and P.S. Like, this is social media, so God forbid you ever screw up after you tag someone yeah, right. else for doing it. Because what goes on social media stays on Google forever. Exactly. Because yeah. if you really want to help that kid, you will do something about to it. To help, yeah, for if sure. If you really want to help that dog, you will call the Humane Society and the yeah. police and get that dog out of the car. Yeah. Going home and doing something on social media while that dog is like taking a picture of it and taking a picture not, of the license plate, and then, yeah, and yeah. like doing nothing. You know, you're a passive observer, but you're a big time shamer. So no yeah. more shaming on social. If you really yeah. feel passionate, do something about yeah. it. Yeah, there's a more effective ways. If you've got a problem with something that someone is doing and you feel that somebody is in a critical situation that needs your help, your help would be to confront the person or to call the authorities, not to shame someone on social. That is so cowardly, and it is so yes. And please don't call CS on me because I left my kid uh, in the car playing with his Nintendo with the windows down while I ran into the no, beer No, I'm not going to call them on you for that. I'm going to yeah. call them on you because you're drinking and like smoking in the car with all the windows up. Or that was the no, 70s. No, that was allowed. <laughs> that was allowed, silly No seatbelts. Woo! The good old days. They don't call them the good old days for nothing. <laughs> I'm surprised we survived the good old days. Anyway, what are your fond memories from childhood and how did you survive it with no seatbelts and uh, toxic Crazy waste? Parents. <laughs> and crazy parents. <laughs> Subscribe and join us for our next episode. We'll see you later. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.